In this video, I want to talk about the Harrisville Designs Potholder Loom Pro set. Now you see the loom there. Um, it's a wonderful metal loom. It's 10 inches square, which gives you an 8 inch um, panel. And I say panel because it's not only good for potholders, but I'm going to be using it for yarn. And you can see I've started a square on that. Um, and here is one that I've already finished. Now both of these yarns that I'm using are um, vintage acrylics, but they make a very nice square. Now this is, according to the package, it's 50% larger than the normal size potholder loom. Now here are some potholders made on my vintage Nellie B potholder loom which is also metal. I like the metal, and on the smaller looms, I like this one um, in particular because there isn't a ridge um, on the inside of the metal. And with potholders especially, uh, you know the last two loops can always be a little bit tight to work. And without any metal edge there in the way, it's easier to pull the loops through. But that is a typical potholder loom that is, I believe, seven inches square and gives you a six inch potholder or fabric square. And one of my videos that I have up tells you how to make a yarn square on this smaller loom and then make a sweater for the um, Bitty Baby dolls. But one of the reasons I bought the larger loom is because some of my dolls, such I have a stuffed cow that needs a larger sweater. And I'm thinking with the 8 inch square, this might even be better for the Bitty Baby dolls where um, they have very chunky arms and this might make it a little easier to get the arms through. So that's an idea. Um, the loom itself is $29, which I think is well worth it. And there is the box. Let me just put that to the side for a second. And with the kit comes enough lo uh, loops to make two pot holders, a crochet hook and a loom hook, and then obviously all their paperwork. Very nice um, initial set for $29. Now I have used 12 inch weave it looms before and I found them a little bit hard to work with the yarn. Um, and the Weave It looms are three pin setup looms. And um, this is a little bit smaller with a 10 inch loom as opposed to a 12 inch, but um, much easier to work. And then the edges are all crocheted, which makes them much easier to join together than the Weave It's. I like the Weave It looms, but I just find these, um, this style, a little bit easier. So, uh, what can you use these yarn squares for? You can use, uh, you can sew the squares together for sweater panels, um, batting, backing on a quilt, like a sweater quilt that I have a video up on. You can make an apron out of them. You can make a security blanket for a baby out of them. Um, you can make um, a vest. I'm working on a pattern for a 28 inch Barbie doll that I believe I can make a dress out of this for a large Barbie. In other words, just like crochet granny squares, you can sew these together to make multitudes of things. Now, in addition, you see a box of yarn here, and that's only about half of it. There are some there, and there are some other colors over here. I ended up getting 61 skeins of yarn that most of them are about three ounces. So they're partially used skeins, $12 plus shipping, and 61 skeins total. And only a few of them were about um, an, an ounce and a half or two ounces. Most of, them in, um, most of them were worsted weight acrylic, vintage acrylic. And this is the type of yarn lot that you can find on eBay um, simply because 
they're not full skeins, they're in all different colors, and it's a wonderful craft wad. So, in addition, what I'm going to use these panels for is block printing. Because um, if you want to make your own fabric, these are acrylics. I also have Fisherman Wool Yarn by Lion Brand that I'm going to use to make squares and then wash them and felt them a little bit. And they will be a slightly tighter fabric. But even on this, I can block print any design I want on here. Um, which then could even be cross-stitched in or um, kind of like a duplicate stitch that you would use in knitting. So, you know, we've had potholder looms all our lives, and thanks to Harrisville Designs, they now have a 10-inch loom, which opens up a world of possibilities for either large potholders or fabric. Now, their loops for the potholders are a little bit expensive. Um, there are designer bags, such as a bag of red, white, and blue, to make six red, white, and blue potholders is about $40. Now, I find that pretty pricey, but I guess if you want every couple of years to make a new designer set for your kitchen, then that's, you know, then that's worth it. Um, they do also make a smaller traditional loom and they have traditional size loops. Um, they also have quantity bags of the larger loops for this loom, and a five pound bag is about $90. So you might find, and they're the only ones that make the loops for this larger loom. So you might find that the loops are a little bit pricey, but um, I'm going to primarily use it for yarn. And in that aspect, it's a wonderful, wonderful loom. It's the Harrisville Designs Potholder Loom Pro.